The final step is to create a pay run. This is a paid feature, so you'll need to start a free trial or pay for a subscription to access this feature. To start your free trial, click the banner that says Start Free Trial. To run pay runs on our web app, you need to subscribe to either the standard or enterprise plan. Choose between a monthly or yearly plan to start your free trial. Click Start Free Trial. Enter your payment details to start your free trial. Your card won't be charged until the 14-day free trial is complete. You can cancel your subscription at any point during your free trial. Click Confirm. Click on the third checklist item that says make your first pay run. Select the pay run period. You have the option to do a weekly, fortnightly, monthly or quarterly pay run. Enter the pay run end date and the payment date. Please note that while you can remove or edit any incorrect pay runs, you can't change the dates so please double check these before proceeding. Click let's start. Now we are in the adjust section. In this section you can add leave, edit super, and add any other payment types your employee receives. Annual and sick leave can be added here. Just click the type you want and enter the number of hours the employee took. You don't need to remove these from ordinary hours. Extra hours or hours at a different rate can be added here. Add the number of hours and the rate. You can set these as overtime hours and name them if you want. Other payment types like deductions, allowances and bonuses can be found under more. To edit super, click on the blue super amount. You can add a super salary sacrifice or an employer contribution or edit the super guarantee here. When you're happy with how your pay run looks click next. Now we are in the review section. This section shows you a summary of your pay run. Here you can also edit tax and the leave accrued this pay run. If you want to return to your pay run later, you can save it as a draft. Otherwise, click save to save your pay run or save and send pay slips to save it and send the pay slips to your employees. If you aren't ready to send the pay slips to your employees, don't worry. You can always send your pay slips later. That's it. Your first pay run is complete and you've finished your payroller onboarding.